We have a little known structure in our brains that's critical to sports performance and visual function. The more you understand how this structure relates to sports performance and vision, the better. In this video, we'll explore how the hippocampus, the part of the brain, can aid us in our sports performance. Hello, I'm Dr. Labby. I'm a sports vision ophthalmologist with 30 years experience working with elite and professional athletes. What I want to do on this channel is bring to you the information and the knowledge I've learned from working with them so that you can benefit and you can perform at your best. In this video, we're going to introduce you to the hippocampus. We'll review its role in vision and brain function, and importantly, we'll review its importance in sports performance. We'll base this video on several recent scientific publications, which introduce new thinking in the role of the hippocampus with visual function. But first of all, you need to understand what is the hippocampus? That's a big word. The hippocampus, actually we have two, one on the right side and the left side, is buried deep inside an area called the thalamus in our brains. In fact, the name hippocampus, that long word, comes from Greek because when the hippocampus is removed and it's looked at, it looks a lot like a seahorse. And so early on, it was called a seahorse in Greek or hippocampus, as you see in this image here. Classically, the hippocampus has been thought of to be involved in three functions. Each of these functions is important to life, the brain function, but also is important to sports performance. First of all, it's important in memory recording and memory keeping. In fact, people that have problems with the hippocampus have been found to have difficulty in remembering things in the recent past. They remember old memories, but they don't remember recent memories. And that's because thinking is that the hippocampus aids when we're asleep, taking our day's experience, our recent memories, and making them more permanent into long-term memory. That's one of the roles of the hippocampus. Secondly, the hippocampus plays a role in something called spatial cognition. Well, what exactly is that? Well, if you think about it, our brains have inside a kind of map of what our eyes are looking at in the room, for example. You can see the four walls, you can see tables, you can see different furniture, but that's something that you see. But our brain has to have knowledge of where that is in relation to, to ourselves, and has to know kind of how far to put the hand out to grab something from the table and so forth. And that's all done by a map, which is built inside of our brain, which constantly updates as we move and as we see different things. That's also one of the functions of the hippocampus. Lastly, it plays a, re a role in something called response inhibition. The ability for us to take something that we learned prior to not do, to actually not do it. Very similar to what we would call a go-no-go -no -go decision in sports. All right, now we've covered quite a bit of neurology and physiology here, but let's look a little bit deeper at how the hippocampus relates to sports vision and vision in general. Well, the hippocampus is part of what's called the ventral visual stream. When information comes from our eyes and goes back to our brains, into the visual part of our brains, which is in the back of the head, it then moves forward to activate other areas which actually act on that visual information. And there's two main streams. There's one stream that goes kind of higher up, that's called the dorsal stream, and there's another stream that goes lower down in the brain, and that's called the ventral stream. And the hippocampus is part of the ventral stream. We reviewed some of this in previous videos, and if you need a little bit of catch up, take a look at those videos below so that you can fully understand how vision goes from the eyes to the brain and then to action to cause a proper movement of our legs or arms, especially in sports. Now, what's the role of the ventral stream where the hippocampus is a part of? Well, that's what we call the what system. The what system helps us identify what targets are by their size, by their color, by their shape. All of those factors are what's processed visually throughout the ventral stream into the hippocampus. Well, why is this important? Well, clearly, if, if some target is coming towards you, it's important to be able to identify it properly. Is it actually the ball? Is it the puck? Is it a player's helmet that's coming towards you? All those things have to be identified quickly and accurately, again, from actual sports performance. So if you think back about those three different elements of the hippocampus that we talked about, we have the memory portion. Well, that's important because you have to identify the target that's coming towards you. We have the idea about the go, no go. Well, that's important as well, because if it's a, if it's the right target, you want to act on it. If it's the wrong target, you don't want to act on it. So many of the roles that we talked about of the hippocampus previously, one can understand more clearly when you consider the visual function, the ventral stream of vision, and the role of the hippocampus in helping us make the proper decision, go no good decision about what to do in our sport. Finally, there's even a newer area that's been discovered, and that has to do the hippocampus's role in eye movements. Well, that makes sense as well, because when we see a target we recognize or want to identify, we're probably going to move our eyes to follow it and track it in order to make that proper identification. Recently, there have been several articles in the scientific literature that talk about the relationship of the size 
and the volume of the hippocampus and how we can potentially increase that and improve its function. In one of those articles shown here, researchers found that by doing aerobic exercise, you're able to increase the size and the volume of the hippocampus. Additionally, the exercise increased blood flow to the hippocampus. All of things, size, volume, and blood flow would be things that would improve the hippocampus function. We also know that as one ages, the hippocampus starts to shrink, and that can certainly affect memory and other factors that we see in older adults. And so certainly by doing routine, constant aerobic exercise, we can improve that function. They also found that doing that aerobic exercises can increase spatial memory related to the hippocampus as well. In this diagram from that study, you can see that there's two lines. There's a red line and a blue line. And you can tell that at the beginning of the study, both the red and blue were at the same point. But then at six months and 12 months, those lines changed, they diverged. Well, the blue lines are the athletes who did, or the subjects actually, not athletes, that did the aerobic exercise over that 12 month period. And the red lines are people that did just stretching exercises, didn't do any actual aerobic exercise. And what you can notice from this plot is not only did the people with aerobic exercise have an increased size, volume of the hippocampus, but those who did the stretching actually had a reduction in size of the hippocampus, similar to what happens as people age in general. In another publication, researchers found a similar finding. This time, instead of having kind of middle-aged uh, participants in the study, they had younger people in the study. They had children, older children in the study. And they found similar effect with exercise and increasing hippocampal volume. What was also interesting in this study, and this was the nine to 11 year olds, is that they found that the students who participated in team sports with their exercise tended to have larger volume hippocampus than those who did not, or those who were in just single, single isolated player sports. So it seems like it's not just the actual aerobic exercise, there's some interaction with others in the sport which seem to have a beneficial effect as well. Well, there you have it. This little known structure that probably most people have never heard of can actually play a very significant role in your sporting ability, in your visual memory, in your ability to track targets, in your spatial memory, in your decision making. It's an area that we should understand and try to maximize potentially through aerobic exercise. Now we haven't seen whether doing that actually improves performance in the field outside of the normal benefit of exercise. That's something that's need to come in a future research article. But I think we're starting to see the framework of the role of this structure, the hippocampus, in vision and specifically in sports vision. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon down below, and be notified every time we post new videos, which we try to do every week. Also, if you'd like to read more on a blog form about these, these issues, please feel free to subscribe or take a look at our blog, sportsvisionbydrlabby.com, where you can find more information. Lastly, if you have any questions or any suggestions about anything that you'd like me to cover in a future video, please send me a comment, and I read every one of the comments. I respond to pretty much all of them as well, very quickly, so we can make sure that we provide you the information you're looking for to perform maximally in your sport.